Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Joe Mambu. I'm here reporting live from Orlando, Florida. The- no, you not. Stop <laughs> your bullshit. Oh, what's going on, man? What's going on? Look, welcome to Let's Be Real Sports. That is, of course, Joe Mambu. I am Big Sherm. We are here today to give you more sports news. Oh, of course, of course. Okay, so this episode is 106. And it's uh, I wanted to do something a little bit lighter today. It's the NBA bubble news that's going on. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in the bubble. Snitching! So, 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 yep, definitely some snitching with that hotline going on. There's also uh, those who are not wearing the mask and those who are and kind of sending the wrong message. So we're going to discuss a little bit about that today. And then we're also going to discuss about the top 10 quarterback uh uh, according to Madden, are those ratings correct? Is there anybody missing on the list? If the background looks a little bit different today from what it usually does for me is because I am in the floss. All right. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm here in Brooklyn, just uh, still, okay. doing the, still doing the show. So, um, yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the NBA bubble. Um, what, are, what are some things that you, you take from, uh, and are you even excited now that you know that it's happening? Are you even excited about the NBA season uh, recommencing, even though they're saying it's the whole new season? I'm excited, mm-hmm. but I'm also weary because okay, is- right, right, you're going to ask me why. Okay. You're asking me why, correct? Yeah, yeah, I am. Why am I weary? Because at any point in time, a star player can. Hopefully not, but a star player can contract COVID and they can be knocked out for any period of time, which would change the whole balance of the seeding, the playoffs, when they when it starts. Because they have to finish these games anyway. These eight games. Basically, it's, they're trying to finish the season with yep. these eight games to get to get themselves into the playoffs. Also, to, of course, ensure that the money, all the money is guaranteed for both the owners and the players, of course. Yeah, because, you know, of, because they were able to come to that conclusion of restarting right so for me i'm 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 excited but i'm wary at the same time because if someone catch this thing it could spread it could get crazy you yeah. already know in florida things are r- ridiculously r- wild cases running. are through yep. the roof all over the place and yeah. it's a very scary situation you know of course you have the snitching hotline for those okay. you know who are, who are breaking the quarantine rules? Yep. Either either doing with Uber, take and which I can take off campus. You you bring in the Instagram bodies mm-hmm. around, you know. Well, you know they 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 have to entertain themselves now. But at- we was waiting for that if it was like a regular eighty two game season, but the fact that LeBron James had those big two games back to back, and the Lakers where they're seeding, obviously Milwaukee is seeding pretty well as well, but. Listen, it looks like LeBron is about to win. What was what would this be? His fourth, fifth? He is not winning that MVP. Let me oh, tell you something. Giannis is, is winning the MVP. His team from start to that to the point that, that everything stopped was number one in the league. He was averaging about 30 points a game in 31 minutes. If you do the analytic type, if you do the analytics of it with okay. minutes with actual no, minutes played. I, I get I get it. I get it. What? He was he was on the, he was on, he was the best player on the best team, and he could probably even win defensive player of the year. On top of that, he probably could. Listen, Giannis Giannis to me is the best play in the best play in the league. Uh, so how but, can you? So how can LeBron be the MVP then? Listen, they they listen. They already started because of two they freaking games. Yeah, they get the fuck started. out of here. Two fucking games. Listen, anything to add to LeBron's legacy? You know how this. You know get how the, the fuck is. out! I understand that. You know I, how, I, the, I, you know I know how the league is, lot. man. I know I'm cursing a lot, but come on, man. Don't yeah. take away from what Giannis is doing. Giannis basically is carrying that team himself. Yeah. Because if Giannis is not there, I, they're not I there. I agree. I agree. Giannis should be MVP. Producer lady would say otherwise. but Of course she would say otherwise. It. She's yeah. a LeBron lover. Right? Ugh. That's almost as worse. As, no, no, I actually don't mind. Don't even do it. Don't <laughs> even do it. Don't even do it. Oh, Okay, so a little bit more about the bubble news that's going on. So James Harden actually came a little bit later to the, you know, the, the NBA the, in that bubble in Disney has been about three weeks now, right, mm-hmm. all in preparation for the uh, restart of the season. But James Harden had a mask that had a blend through, uh, a, a thin blue line that 
was about uh, hey. saying that uh, Blue Lives Matter. Listen, listen, James Harden to to. to James Harden, what he said was that he didn't know what it meant. He just liked the scarf. What the f- Listen, he did, that's what he said. That's what he said. He said he just likes the scarf because it covered his beard, and it did a it did a sufficient job of, of covering his beard. He wanted to make sure he didn't want to get no coronavirus of, in the beard. All, like of all the masks you, know? you could have in this, all of all the masks you can wear, you decide to wear that one, given the social climate we're in at this very moment. Really, James? You better well wash it. The most important is he better wash his ass. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's that's where we left off. That I'm yeah. me telling James Harden yeah, to wash yeah. his ass. He had shit on his yeah. ass during the, during the game. He, he oh, definitely fuck. did when movie theaters were still open and you could sit in the restaurant and ask the waiter for a drink. James, my half times have changed, ass. right? Whew. And there's more news, right? Coming out the bubble, Dwight Howard not wearing his mask. How do you feel about that? He I, says, listen, "Go, go ahead." I, I, I want to tell you what he said. I understand people feel like masks restrict them, or they feel like, "Oh, I don't need to wear a mask." I can't play ball in the mask. Oh well, obviously you can't play ball in the mask. Yeah. But for the protection of others, if not for yourself, for the pet and I don't know, everybody, oh, it's a conspiracy. Listen, mm-hmm. if it helps, if it helps, if if you're not going to help yourself, help the people around you. Yeah, that's all. That's all. That's all it is. Help the people around you. That's true, and that's what more the mask is for, right? Like, you, if you not, if you don't necessarily feel like you need to wear a mask because, like, you're bulletproof or whatever the case may be, like you, you're mostly doing it for the people that surround you that aren't bulletproof, right? Or don't who, who, think who, are, who, or who have compromising situations, or like Elena Deladonna, WNBA. She has mm-hmm. Lyme disease. Yeah. You know, I would think the women of the NW would say, oh, let me protect her from, you know, because she can get really sick. And yeah. if, if, if he, she's not covered and stuff like that. So I, like I said before, if Dwight feels like he doesn't need a mask, that is his prerogative. I'm not going to sit and tell that man what to do, but at right. least protect the people around you, your teammates. Yeah, that's true. So Dwight says that, and I think the problem is, is that he's taking the, the bubble. So his remarks was, "Why do we need to wear a mask if we're in a bubble, right?" So, uh, it's we're supposed to be. Uh, uh, so apparently, Disney is like the safest place, not only the magical, but the safest place on earth, right? So one of the things uh, Dwight talks about is is that because we're in this bubble, we necessarily do, don't have to wear a mask because we are in a bubble and we're in a bubble for that reason. Um, I would say that, yes, while the NBA players and coaches and personnel are in the bubble, uh, Disney employees, uh, uh, all the DoorDash, Uber Eats guys, right, whatever you order, aren't in the, bu- aren't in the bubble, right? Uh, and as well, uh, they're going home every day, the, 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 you know, not the NBA players, but the, the outdoor personnel that comes Business in staff. every day. Uh, you know, and Florida is a hot spot right now, right? Mm-hmm. So it's it's one of those things where I understand where the white is coming from. At the same point, he needs to understand that uh, there are things that can penetrate those bubbles, like the Instagram thoughts and the delivery people and the Disney personnel. So the yeah, white has to-, to be privy to that. But you know, they called the hotline on him. Who you think you is know, making the calls? You think it's LeBron? Or- it's LeBron. Hey, sorry guys, we had some audio difficulties, but we're back now. Uh, so starting. Because it's where hot. Do we, <laughs> where did we leave off at? Uh, Talk about snitching. About snitching, right? I think it's Chris Paul. You, you might be onto something. He might. He, he needs. He needs any reason. If there's any time for like an unexpected team to win an NBA championship, right? It's this bubble, right? Mm-hmm. The Lake. Uh, I know they talked to Anthony Davis and LeBron James about their experience and, you know, that because they're well-rested, now they have a chance. You know, now they feel like they have more of a chance than they did before prior to the uh, the season being postponed. Um, I would say 
that while the Lakers do have a good chance of winning the championship, the most likely best chance, especially with some players that's going to be uh, not returning for the start of the season, Oklahoma has an opportunity if they could click on all cylinders. They got guys, they got, got four starters who are borderline all-stars averaging about 17.5 a game, right? Mm-hmm. Chris, Chris Paul is also giving you seven assists with that, right? Uh, Gildress Alexander is doing a wonderful job, and Danilo Gallinari still doing what he does, you know what I mean? Uh, but uh, if anybody who can benefit from the snitch, and it would be uh, Chris Paul. And like I said, I saw a meme the other day where yeah. it, was, it was him, Tyson Chandler, okay, uh, Peter Stoyakovich, and David West. And those three guys all have championship rings right now. Chris Paul is sitting there with his Hall of Fame career and everything he's done in the league, still sitting there with no championships. Listen, and I know listen. it's burning him up. Listen, he, if I'm Chris Paul... I would not feel bad about any of the championships those guys got. Chris Paul has had a better career than all of them. I understand that, but look, but look at look at the many players who had stellar careers that have no like everybody says it's not about championships, but but what are you what are you playing for besides the money? Because everybody playing for money. No, you are. Listen, and you're right, everybody but playing for money. There's no denying Chris Paul's talent and skill, man. Like it, like what he's able to do this season has been absolutely ridiculous. Of and course. I know he had, you know, he had a chip on his shoulder because, you know, while his time with the Houston Rockets, they was kind of writing him off. But they got to understand that James Harden is a ball-dominant guy and Chris Paul was going to look pedestrian in that offense. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Chris Paul is back, man. And to me, he's, he's playing better than he, he was in, in his stint with the Houston oh, Rockets. Oh, yeah. You know I mean? be- because he's allowed yeah. to be the orchestrator again. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's allowed. He's allowed to do what he and he can still ball. I've yeah. seen the between the between the leg pass he he's been doing for years. He's still doing it at his age now. The guys seem to like really gravitate towards him. They like that dog spirit in him. Yeah, dog you spirit. Know the cr- but you know the but crazy. Like, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. Oh, all right. So you know the crazy thing is though, there was uh footage of Chris Paul actually doing a dunk. In uh, in the bubble, you know oh, for real? yeah, 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 yeah. So listen, it, Chris Paul, you know, he went all he got, he got all slim, got all fit, you know, got all cut and, and, and not jacked, but got all cut, and he's taking great care of his body. So before we switch uh, uh, the topics, though, I want to ask you one question: Who do you feel has the best chance of winning the NBA championship with this whole bubble situation, and who do you feel is a sleeper? that can go ahead and, and take everybody by surprise uh, to win the championship this year? It okay. Could be either, it could be either conference. Um, okay. To make it a little bit harder on myself, I'm going to take out Milwaukee and L.A. because that's the obvious teams. And okay. the Clippers. Those are the obvious teams. Yeah. I think, to me, it could be ter- – I'm, I'm not going to lie. The Toronto Raptors team is still there. They are. That's the Raptors that's, team that's the is sleeper. still there. Now, that's the team who I think who can make that charge. But the sleeper is the Celtics. You see, I don't know. I would have it the other way around. That like, that hold on. So so obviously the choices are like the two LA teams in Milwaukee, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like with the disruption of this of the season, I think the Celtics because they have the U, right? They got four players. That bench is deep. That the Celtics could actually go on and win the championship. That would be my sleeper. That's right? what I said. Um, oh, that's for you. Yeah, no, I mean, my, my my sleeper is 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 the Bucks. I mean, not the Bucks, the uh, Celtics. My obvious choice would be the Lakers, even though they're missing Rondo for six to eight weeks. Avery Bradley, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like with yeah, Avery Bradley, who who decided not to uh, partake in the retake. Uh, uh, but they did add. They have Deion Waiters, who I love. They got J.R. Smith. You know what I mean? The Henny God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and Frank, Frank, and, and, and listen, man. With Rondo minutes going away, listen. You, I would love to see Alex Caruso do his thing. Caruso. You know what I'm saying? So the Lakers, you know, it, it could be one of those things with substitution. Uh, I mean, with yeah, with uh, with a uh, substitution could be addition. 
uh, because you look at it like LeBron James is arguably the best uh, passer to ever play the game outside of Magic Johnson, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and he has that same frame. I, I feel like the more opportunity you give LeBron James to bring the ball down the court and has to less, you know, the more he is a setup man than he has to be a guy who is in the corner doing something, I think the more he could get the, the shooters involved like Deion Waiters, J.R. Smith, Alex Caruso, Kyle Kuzma, and obviously you want to get uh, Anthony Davis involved as well, being that he's never sniffed anything in his life. And LeBron. Uh, but and, 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 No, I'm saying LeBron, LeBron no, no. is setting up all those guys. No, I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying. And for LeBron, LeBron, look, mm-hmm. if you're in a close game, take the foul and shoot some foul shots, man. Don't oh, be yeah, sitting there yeah. jacking up three. Don't be sitting there jacking up three pointers because you're scared to go to the foul line. That's the one thing in your career. That's the one thing in your career that we have not seen. You go to the foul line and sink some free throws, pressure free throws to seal the game. Now everybody's gonna say, say "Oh, show me what you're talking about." Look it up. He yeah. usually when he gets to that foul line, he's one for two. You can't be All one right. for two. You got to be clutch, baby. You you definitely you listen. You're right. I hear you, man. But now everybody got that, you know. Now everybody Kobe Bryant, you know. So may he rest in peace. It's all good. You know what I'm saying. But uh, all right. So the next subject we're talking about, obviously, Madden is right around the corner. It comes out every August, right? <laughs> yes. It's a, yeah. Every August, Madden comes out with the <clears throat> annual game, and uh, this year, you know, it's interesting to look at this list of the top ten QB. Some guys, familiar faces, obviously, some new guys. But uh, we want to take. I want to just uh, take a look at this list, and then Sherm, is there anyone on this list that you feel like? Obviously, you know Pat Mahomes, ninety nine. Showtime, right? MV, MVP season, Super Bowl MVP. Pat Mahomes, you deserve every right to be up there. The surprise to me, though, and I know he was in. Um, he was a prime candidate last year for. Uh, for MVP is Russell Wilson at 97. Um, I would say hey, listen, that, man, listen, Russell Wilson had a great right season, now. and that's a little bit too high for me. Uh, huh? Uh, Russell Wilson? The second high? Too high! Too high! At 97, bro? I'll let you finish, because I'm going to say some shit. I'm going to say some shit. You see, you pissing me off right. now. Go ahead. Listen, listen, man. I'm just saying a little bit too high for me. Russell's good. I don't think he's a 97, though. I would have him more. I would have put Lamar at number three, Russell. I mean, Lamar at number two, Russell at number three. Wow. Right? Now, now wait, hold on. Now, now let me go now. Let, let me rip. Go ahead. Go ahead. For those of you, I've done my, I've, I've said my piece on the LBR blog. You can check it out. Where I list all, where I have a picture of all the top ten quarterbacks they have out there, and mm-hmm. I I say my piece on why things are such and such. To okay. the point to 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 what you're what you're saying, Mahomes is number one, obviously. Case closed. Yep. My, my only problem is the throwing power at ninety seven is bullshit. It should be ninety nine or hundred. It should be tied Jesus. or. or he should be tied or over with or over Josh Allen for throwing power, but that's another story for another day. Yeah. Uh, Russell Wilson is a ninety-seven because okay. he does he does everything without an offensive line to speak of. Yeah. Everything he does, everything he's a running back, he's a thrower. I tell you, if he could if he could catch passes himself, he would catch passes himself. But the throws that this man makes on the run. Even when he stand and when he has time, when he's like, for instance, the pass he made to Tyler Lockett in the end zone, I think on the on a Monday Night Football, yeah. beautiful. Like you can't, it's picture perfect. You can't yeah. get no better than that. You know. So it's for not, me, not, I'm not saying Russ is bad at number two. I'm just saying I would have put Lamar. But no, I, I hear you. I understand. I, but I'll tell you why Lamar is at number three, and he's right, and he slotted correctly because. Yeah. Of course, he's a dual threat, but his accuracy is not on the par of those other two guys. It's not on par. That is true. That is true. Yeah, that is. True. He he can he can get there, and he led the league in touchdown passes. We understand that, but your accuracy yeah. is not there. I wish he was more accurate versus the Tennessee Titans 
when he when they got when they lost to them in the divisional round, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? Like he, he can't pass all of a sudden now because when he gets behind, mm-hmm. as they always say in the league, you have to win in the pocket. And if you can't win in the pocket, you're gonna lose. Oh, that's true, but Harbo did a good job of the, the of course. Team. You know what I mean? That system around Lamar Jackson. You know of I mean? course. So I think I think as time progresses, uh, Lamar would be a better, accurate passer. Uh, but listen, for him to be number three right now. And he's the unanimous think, MVP. Listen, yeah, listen, is remarkable. And I love the fact, right, like you look at the quarterbacks up here, right, because the knock has always been against black quarterbacks that they can't read the field, right? Even though Pat Mahomes did kind of say that he was – Andy Reid, who's like a football guru, right? Who is a football guru. A quarterback guru at that. Yeah, quarterback guru. Pat Mahomes said part of the se- part of the season he couldn't read defense. He couldn't read nothing. Which is absurd to me. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how good instinctively this guy is. So Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, and Dak. What? Up, but, 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 but. what Hold on. I'm talking about the four the, the four four out of ten. Of black quarterbacks is on this list. And oh, okay, okay, the, okay. The top three are black quarterbacks. Then you got, you know, uh, Drew Brees at number four. He he so, slid he, he slided correctly. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he, I mean, I don't know. I'm a little biased because I'm a Green Bay fan, uh, and I know Aaron Rodgers didn't have a really good season. But Aaron for Aaron Rodgers to be at 89, I think is entirely disrespectful. I think he's better than Tom and, Brady. And, and who? Yeah, they got this. Fit goat at fucking number five. Let Listen to me. TB12. Get the hell out of here. Get TB the fuck 12, out of here. TB12. Let me tell you something. TB Let 12, me tell you. Stay fit. <laughs> you done? Listen, I'm just saying. Yo, he's you, nice. He's done shaking the pom poms for this fake goat? No, th- listen, he's nice. But this, this rating is based off of his career, right? Because That's, this. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's based off his career. I understand that. But mm-hmm. last year, he 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 wasn't he wasn't anything special. He wasn't he wasn't, he wasn't, wasn't. anything special. And yeah. then on on top of that, they got his his his, his Gronk over there at ninety five. He didn't even fucking play in the league last year. Yet he is a ninety five. Disrespecting yeah. Zach Ertz in Philadelphia, who should be a lot higher than a ninety. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on. I'm looking at I'm looking at this list, man. And how are you liking the fact that Dak Prescott and Carson Wentz? They're slotted fine. Okay. In, I have two issues. And of course, I've mentioned it on the blog. Please go check it out at LBR blog on Facebook. Yep. If you haven't, subscribe to it, like it, do what you gotta do. But first of all, they're disrespecting Aaron Rodgers yet again. He's been disrespected. Yeah. He's been disrespected his whole career. Yep. The man threw four, for 4,000 yards, 26 touchdowns, I think four interceptions. He hasn't had a double-digit interception in 10 years. Listen, if and I was so- – I would have I would have Aaron Rodgers at number five, right? Like, Drew Brees is really good, right? He's, I'm not, leave him there. Drew, leave Brees, him. Drew Brees is fine at number four, but Aaron Rodgers should definitely be number five on the All right, I, I, or, or he should be the next 90 there. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. – And then – the ultimate disrespect. Deshaun Watson's a fucking eighty-six. You don't think so? What you get? What would you put him at? D- let me tell you something. Do you know why they put him at eighty-six? Why? D- because uh, some person named Bill O'Brien Belichick, oh, oh, who, yeah. who yeah. thinks he's Bill Belichick, sat there and went for it on fourth down when they should have fucking punted the ball. And get, made Mahomes work the field. No, yep. he 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 gets tackled on the field. Yep. He gets ta- the punter gets the, the up back. Excuse me, the up back gets tackled. Turnover on downs, mm-hmm. and after that, these guys score forty two points straight to the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, and it led to the greatest comeback. Then in the off season, Bill O'Brien Belichick <laughs> trades Bill O'Brien. his best receiver. To yeah. the Cardinals? Oh my God! What? What was that about, man? What? I don't really understand that. You tr- and you and you get back David Johnson, who is injury prone. I'm not saying David Johnson's not good, because when he's healthy, 
He is yeah, he's so, stud. so, so. Yeah, he's a stud, man. But he's been injured so – he's been injured so much Yeah. that it's like, what are you doing? And then you're going to have to repay this guy again? Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding me? I don't get it, man. Like no, nah, man. Like Ryan Bilicek, man. He he got to get it together. If he doesn't, he going to – listen, Deshaun going to be out there because somebody going to pay him that money. He should have been – Bill O'Brien no, should have been no, fired no. after that game. Yeah. He should have been fired. All right. Yeah, I feel you. So one thing I want to touch on is uh, before we end the show, Kyler Murray's rating. Do you agree with it or not? Uh, they got that wrong, too. I, he should move up. He should be at least 83. Yeah. Yeah, what they have him at seventy seven? Seventy seven, like come on, man. Yeah, come on. That's kind of disrespectful, man. Come on. That's kind come of on. disrespectful, man. Maybe because he's short? What he what 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 he because he, he's short? Is well, that, you, know is that, that, you know that that you know that's got something that, that's got that's gonna have something to do with it. He's short, but but he could, he has a cannon for an arm at five ten. What fast, are you talking man. about? Kyler Murray, and he's fast as hell. Kyler Murray at ninety one speed is QB rating, man. Come on, man. He's only behind Lamar Jackson, who's a 96. Good God. They, they, they give, they give, they give Kyle Murray the Tory Lanez type of treatment, and I don't like that. Oh, no, man. I don't like that. Oh, man. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Sure. Yeah, I don't like it either. But listen, I'm pretty sure Madden's going to have an update before the yeah. like first quarter of the season. So They, up, they update guys, throughout the week. Do you think there's anybody who would drop out of the top 10 once these updates happen? Hmm. Let me on see. The, on this list. I'll on give that? you mine. Okay, go ahead. And I'll, I'll go off of that. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with Matt Ryan. I feel like he may drop. I I feel so sad for Julio. Yeah. I but who, yeah. Julio should have way more should have way more touchdowns, way, way more yards because of this because of Maddie made off yeah, listen, the Ponzi scheme artists. Yeah, this is not the case, and I'm sad. Relate, really- related to related to Kirk Cousins. <laughs> but, but, oh, this guy will be. Yo, listen, uh, we're gonna end the episode on that note. I want to thank you guys for tuning into another episode of Let's. Thank be you, Real. thank you. Uh, make sure to hit us up with questions and comments at lbrs talk at gmail dot com. Uh, you can also check Facebook, the Facebook blog where Sherman does a really good job of posting content in between episodes of some funny stuff as well. Make sure to hit us up on YouTube as well as Let's Be Real Sportscast and make sure to subscribe uh, because, uh, you know, that that would be pretty nice. Right. That's iTunes, Spotify, all that stuff. I'm yeah, begging yeah. like Mario Wines, please yeah. hit a, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, please. Yeah. Yeah. But, Help um, some brothers out. On that note, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I hope you guys have a good work week, and that's another episode in the back. Peace. Peace.